Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Unique Engineering Solutions. Today I am going to tell you about the infinite sum of natural numbers and the outcome of it will blow your mind today. So let's begin. When you say about the infinite series of natural numbers, the two things might come your mind. That is, can sum of positive numbers results negative and can sum of integers result fraction? Most of us think that it cannot be, but the great mathematician have shown that it can be. That is, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4, 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and so on up to infinity is equal to minus 1 by 12 that is the sum of all natural numbers up to infinity is not only negative and also it is a fraction first of all it is given by the great Indian mathematician Ramanujan in his letter to Godfrey Harold Hardy the English mathematician at the University of Cambridge, England in 1913. The proof of this is a tribute to the great mathematicians Ramanujan, Euler and Riemann. For proving it, I will divide it into two parts and part one. First of all, we have to prove this infinite series that is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so on up to infinity is equal to 1 by 4. So this relation is already known to you that 1 plus x plus x square that is sum of an infinite series in geometric progression is given by 1 by 1 minus x. On differentiating both sides with respect to x we get 0 plus 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube and so on up to infinity is equal to the differentiation of 1 upon 1 minus x that is equal to the 1 by 1 minus x whole square. On simplification we get 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus 5x4 and so on up to infinity is equal to 1 by 1 minus x whole square. Now substituting the value of x by minus 1 we get 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on up to infinity is equal to 1 by 4. Congratulations! We have prove the first part of this. Now let's move on to the second part that is part 2. Here let us consider the Euler Riemann zeta function that is given by zeta x equals to 1 plus 1 upon 2, 2 power x plus 1 upon 3 power x plus 1 upon 4 power x and so on up to infinity. Let's consider to be equation 1. Now substituting the x equals minus 1 we will get the our required infinite series that is summation of natural numbers up to infinity. Now for multiplying the equation 1 both side by 2 upon 2 power x then we will have 2 upon 2 power x into zeta x equals to 2 upon 2 power x plus 2 upon 4 power x plus 2 upon 6 power x plus 2 upon 8 power x and so on up to infinity. Let us consider it to be equation 2. Here we can notice that this equation 2 have only even terms that is 2 power x, 4 power x and 6 power x not the odd terms and then subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 we get that is zeta x equals to 1, 1 upon 2 power x plus 1 upon 3 power x and so on up to infinity.
now we'll put second equation with re rearranging the similar terms that is 2 upon 2 power x into zeta x equals to 2 upon 2 power x plus 2 upon 4 power x and so on up to infinity on solving we'll get 1 minus 2 upon 2 power x into zeta x is equals to 1 minus 1 upon 2 power x plus 1 upon 3 power x minus 1 upon 4 power x and so on up to infinity. This is the continuation of part 2. Let us rewrite the same equation that we have derived earlier. Now putting the x equals minus 1, we will get 1 minus 2 upon 2 power minus 1 into zeta minus 1 equals to 1 minus 1 upon 2 power minus 1 plus 1 upon 3 power minus 1 minus 1 upon 4 power minus 1 and so on up to infinity. On solving that is minus 3 into zeta power minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on up to infinity. The right hand side is quite similar to us that is we have derived the value of this infinite series in the first part which is equal to the 1 by 4. Now on solving we get zeta minus 1 equals to minus 1 upon 12 and hence zeta minus 1 can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on. That will be equal to minus 1 by 12 proved. Thus it is proved that the sum of natural number up to infinity is equal to not only negative but it is also the fraction that is minus 1 by 12. It is derived 100 years ago and it is continuously used in different sectors. It has diff different application that is it is used in well known theory called a string theory and here is the proof. The book which is shown here is entitled a string theory and this is 22nd page of it and where the equation 1.3.32 is clearly showing that the summation of natural numbers up to infinity is equal to minus 1 by 12 and the string theory is based on it and it is also used in quantum mechanics that is for the study of Casimir effect and here is the power page of book called quantum mechanics and this is the Casimir effect hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon so that you are stay tuned to this channel whenever i upload the new videos on it you can get a notification of it thank you for watching